It is official, friends. December 30th, Cleveland, Ohio. How to grow your biz and make money off social media when you have a small following workshop is going down. We'll teach you how and where to find your customers on social, how to engage with your specific customer through your content, how to hack the social media algorithm and get more people to see your content, how to tell your story on social, how to create a social plan, and so much more. We're gonna help you grow your biz. We don't have a big following on social, but we've continuously grown our business specifically through social media, through a podcast that doesn't have 10 million listeners. We've gotten business through our podcast. We're gonna teach you how we do what we've done and how you can start growing your business without a huge following. Go to bizlaunchacademy.co slash workshop. It's also in the show notes. That's bizlaunchacademy.co slash workshop. Space is very limited, so don't wait any longer. Sign up today. The Business MBS podcast is also energized by Our City Coffee, our coffee company that we started, Tim and I. We didn't need to start a company. We started it because we wanted to... We, want, we wanted something we could be passionate about, have a specific brand for us, and also give back locally to the community, so we do that. It's also really damn good coffee. Coffee is the only thing we consume every single day that's not water. The only thing. It was an easy fit for us, and that's why we started the company. And now we want you to try it. Use our code BS to get 15% off. Biz, uh, BS as in business and BS at rcitycoffee.com. Again, that's BS, rcitycoffee.com. Boom. Today's podcast with Ish, we talk a lot about creating a podcast, why you should have a podcast. His podcast is called Get Ish Done. He's also a diversity specialist at Snapchat and has done some DJing. He's done it all. But the combo focused around podcasting and why why you should do a podcast. Um, some tips on how to do a podcast, tips on why to do a podcast, tips on how to create a podcast for your specific market. And a lot of that goes hand in hand with social media in general. Like, Why are you posting on Instagram? Why are you posting on Facebook? What, what types of content should you be creating? Why? Goal setting, all that good stuff. Fun convo. Thank you for listening. And we hope you enjoy. This moves. Dope. It's a nice little touch. Yeah, I like What that. do you have? Mic wise, your mics are better. I have. Let me look at your shit. I forgot what they're called. They're like the Sure. They're, they're part of the Sure family. They're like the old Elvis looking ones. Yeah. Yeah. They look cool. They yeah. Look so yeah, yours are, are definitely better. How much you pay for them? A couple hundred? Uh, under 200 each. Yeah. I think see, it these, was are, like, these are $20 mics. Hey man, I get the job But it done. sounds fine. Yeah, it you sounds know, fun. like it, it's not like when you, if I say Pat, like you, you feel the P, mm-hmm. you feel that kind of stuff. But generally speaking, it's pretty good. Yeah. Ish, we're rolling here. Let's ride it. I like to, we always <laughs> like kind of just go into it. No Timmy today though. Oh, Timmy is in meetings in San Diego. He, as of. An hour ago. Oh, there's the sound. Where's that sound coming from? Uh oh. We got we got two podcasters in here. We could figure yeah. it out. All right, hold on. Hold tight. This happened one time before. Good. I think we're good. There, there we go. go. All right. Anyway, Timmy. So Timmy yesterday took meetings. We, so we're we're very good at being flexible as shit. <clears throat> so Timmy had to take yesterday's. He actually ended up having three meetings today. Text me at like, uh, or I called me at like three and was like, Hey, I got a meeting today or the, a meeting got pushed back. Do you mind? I had to go pick up his daughter. So he had in case earlier, he dropped off her, uh, an extra kid seat because mm-hmm. she's four, four year old daughter. So I had to go pick up his daughter, bring her back to, and then his lady got back from work and blah, and then blah, he blah. Had to dip out. And then, no, he was he dropped her off at school, went to San Diego. Got it. And now he's on his way back. It's, I told him, come if, if you're within 10, 15 minutes of when we start, come through. But I don't think he's going to make it. So if oh, he does, man. he does. <laughs> if not, which is more than likely, he probably won't. And it's just you and I. Yeah, that's Look cool. That. Welcome. That. Welcome to the crib. Thank you for having me, man. Of course. Appreciate it. We've been connecting on uh, Instagram for a minute. Yeah. So now we're here in person. Here we are. <laughs> so your podcast, Get Ish Done mm-hmm. podcast, you started that how long? You, you only got a handful. I think I'm on episode six coming okay. up. Yeah, Pretty I started sad. in July. Okay, why? I I learned about myself that I love sharing how to do things, how yeah. to get things done, whether that's on Twitter, on Instagram, daily habits, rituals, routines. Yeah. LinkedIn, I shared a ton of like our blog articles, tips and tricks and blah, blah, blah. And you used to work at LinkedIn. I used to work to at like, LinkedIn too. Uh, six weeks ago, eight weeks ago, not that uh, long like ago, right? Two months ago, yeah. Okay. So I, I, I basically did a, like a, twice a year I do an analysis on myself and I kind of, huh. um, 
I ask myself a series of questions and to better understand where I'm at in life and the things that I like, my habits. Okay. And one of from that exercise this past year, earlier in January, I learned that I like to share knowledge and I like to just hmm. share tips and tricks that help people get to where they want to get. Yeah. Whether that's with, I don't know, finances, projects, goal, anything goal related. Hmm. I like to help people get there. Yeah. Um, why kind not? Of, why not? Yeah, why we not? all like to share yeah, that. Ch- it, I mean, it, not we all, but yeah. <clears throat> I think most people like to share stuff. And it's it's like stuff that's beneficial to you on in, on social media, you know, versus sure. all the other crap that you see on social that is kind of just like mind numbing or yeah. Oh God, I hate that. Yeah. So, I, I I've got a rule now. If I scroll more than three, like three pictures or videos or three, out. I'm out. <laughs> I'm done. Get me off of this shit. Yeah. Like phone down. Too much, too much. There you go. Yeah, put, you can put a limit on Instagram for sure. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't want to do that because, you know, we do, for us, when what we do, like business and podcast yeah, that's and, and coffee-wise, I'm on there doing stuff. That's true. And I that's think true. I'm pretty productive usually. Yeah. Like, I, I'd say like 75% productive when I'm on there. check yourself once in a while. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, all right, this is too much. Yeah. Or leave and go to comment from our city coffee and talk to people on the coffee page. Or, yeah. You know, with, if one of our VIP experiences is going on, talk to their fans and stuff like that. That's dope. But... But yeah, man, I'm on episode six. It's fairly new to the podcast game, but I'm loving yeah. it so far. Isn't it great? Yeah. Getting I, really I good think, feedback too. Really? Good. Yeah. Good. Good. I've not listened. Check it out. Yeah, I will. I will. I will. I, I, I believe I subscribed. I don't know though, but I will. I promise I will. <laughs> I'm one of those dudes. If I say I'm going to do shit, I'm going to do it. Yeah. I think you'll find value out of it for sure. Cool. Any, any of the episodes. Yeah. All right. I'll do that. Um, but I think anyone, everyone should have a podcast. Yeah. Like it, it, if, if not, if only to just like share thoughts and ideas and, mm-hmm. You know, for us, the reason we started ours, and I've talked about it on here a handful of times, is like we would work with really cool people doing video projects. And then those conversations would go, you know, they'd just be gone. Like the shit, basically. Yeah, yeah. We'd have no record of it, and you'd remember half the stuff. But now, like, we can have those same conversations with a person filming for four or five hours and then come on here and talk to that same person again. And then you can kind of revisit the conversation. Yeah. And, and it, like, a lot of the stuff we would either, we'd be trying to teach them or, or help them with their, like a social strategy or, mm-hmm. or like why we're shooting a video this way or opposite. They would be teaching us like, well, here's how I grew my biz from X to X, that's dope. X to Y. Um, so that's, so we're like, let's just start talking to people. Now from that, we've got business from it. It wasn't a, like, this wasn't the idea to grow a business started, through a yeah. podcast. Like <laughs> we, you know, we've had thousands of listeners, but not like, you know, not enough to make money off a of pot, like really make money off a mm-hmm. of podcast. We are on anchor now and we're making a few bucks. Nice. A f- like literally a few bucks, <laughs> but <laughs> progress. Yeah. But you know, it, for us, it was more about, about like having these conversations and now we've gotten video work. We've gotten marketing work. Even, uh, people who've come on our podcast have gotten work because they've been on our podcast. Yeah. So it's never, it's not like it, the numbers per se matter. It's the type of people that are the in those numbers. Yeah. yeah. The quality is definitely there. Yeah. So I, and I mean, it, it is what it is. The, the, our stuff's okay, I guess. And for, <laughs> for a couple of people to listen to, I like it. I have fun with it. And that's, that's all that matters. Yeah. And we get to meet like random people. Like we didn't ever probably sat down and had a conversation, no. but we're doing it right now. We're doing it. <laughs> so what do you talk about what you do just in general? So, I know you do like 80 things. <laughs> this is always a tough question to answer. So my day job is I work at Snapchat. Yeah. Uh, Snap. <clears throat> and I'm a diversity specialist. So basically what I do is I manage diversity partnerships for the company. So helping the company hire diverse talent from different backgrounds, retain that talent and develop an inclusive culture. That's kind of my day job. Yeah. Uh, aside from that, I've also been DJing for about 10 years. So I'm a Latino DJ. And what that means is basically I like to mix Latin music with whatever type of music I'm DJing. Mm-hmm. So cool. if that's house music, throw some Latin music in there too. If that's mm-hmm. hip hop, some reggaeton. If that's trap, throw some Latin trap in there. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I've been doing that for quite a while now. Started off with just like high school parties, family parties. Sure. Developed into bars and clubs and then did Vegas once. Did ah, just like really big concerts cool. and shows yeah. and then clubs for a while. And then recently I just took like a little a little break from it so that I can launch my podcast, make sure my new job at Snap does well. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, aside from that, I'm also a podcaster now. So there you go. It's a ton of fun. Welcome to the world. Yeah. <clears throat> now you've done, I saw recently you were in San Francisco speaking at, a, at an event yeah. on diversity. That, that one was, was on social media. But it was, okay. So just social media in general. Yeah. Okay. So I spoke to uh, a room full of social media marketers about. Was it a panel or like. It was a panel. Were, okay. So yeah. it wasn't a presentation. Nah, that kind of deal. Nah. 
Yeah, I, li- I like panels a lot more than doing like this whole presentation. I feel weird with that shit. Really? Yeah, I don't know that I would be great at that. You like? You think you'd be better at just like a presentation by yourself? No, no, no. I know panel. I'd be, I, oh, I would like yeah, yeah. presentation. I would feel weird at. I've I've done those before too, and it can be really hit or miss depending on like where you're at during in the day. Because okay. Imagine that if makes sense. Yeah. If you're like at, right after breakfast or right after lunch, people are kind of sluggish and sure. attention is not fully there. Um, but yeah, I think panels was where it's at. That makes sense. Yeah. And it, fe- it feels a lot more conversational and you're not just talking to me and telling me. Exactly. I might be able to raise my hand in the yep. audience and ask you a question. Or yep. I always, I, I think there's too much of the, the talk to stuff. Yeah. Like the keynotes and that kind of, like that stuff's cool. And there's always good information, not always, but a lot of times there's good information in that mm-hmm. stuff. But I think when you can have a free flowing or at least feel like it's free flowing, free flowing is yeah. not that easy of a phrase to say. <laughs> but if you can get it to, to feel like that, then like, I can be more engaged and yeah. feel like I'm involved and feel like, hey, this isn't just somebody telling me what to do, but it's like someone who is involved in a conversation with somebody else. Yeah, I agree. 100%. I don't, I don't, like the keynotes never get me. Uh, same. Yeah. Even even like I like when people do a keynote and they, they start doing a lot of Q&A, like within that. Or when they split their keynote where it's like, I'm going to do 20 minutes and talk to you about a very specific topic and teach you. Yeah, sure. But then the other 25 minutes is going to be just straight up, what do you guys want to learn okay. specifically yeah. about your business? You that know? makes sense. Yeah. That makes sense. And then, then you can go back and forth. Mm-hmm. I told you we're going to do a workshop in, in Cleveland where it's... How to grow how to grow your biz and earn money with a small social media following. That's yeah. a long fucking title, no, but that's that, what it is. That's and it's clear and concise, yeah. right? Yeah. I don't know if it's concise, but it's clear what it is. Yeah. Um and for that, it, it'll be a small group, fifteen to twenty people, mm-hmm. and that'll focus on us teaching people. You know, it, there'll be that, but a lot of like, all right, let's stand up, let's do this, let's move to this, let's do a small group here. Let's like not just sit and us talk for six hours. Because yeah. that sucks. That sucks. You know, I don't mind hearing myself talk a little bit, <laughs> but to sit there and for six hours to have someone listen to me, nobody no, wants to do that no. shit. So that's why we want to make it like fun and interactive and all right, now you've worked with me for a second. Now you're over here and, and you specifically are work, doing some stuff with Tim mm-hmm. or there's this other person who has a similar business. I want you guys just, just talk about what we discussed on the board. Now you guys talk about it just within yourselves. Yeah. Like that kind of deal. So it's, it's back and forth. It's not just stagnant and I'm getting tired and this shit sucks. And it's a lot more applicable because they get to, they get to try things out in real time and yeah. then taste it versus sitting there and watching you for a couple of hours then yeah. taking a break and then trying it by themselves. Yeah. Like we'll sit there and what the part of what we'll do is say, all right, here's what you do. Now let's go on your Instagram and we're going to talk to people on your Instagram. Like, all right, like, all right. So, so I said this. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You're a DJ. You're a DJ. All right. Let's go find out why, who would, who would be looking for DJs? Like that, that kind of question. Then, all right, let's, what do you think? Promoters. Yeah. Promote. Let's go find a promoter and then talk to that person. Hey, I'm, I'm in Vegas. would love to work with you. Like that kind of shit. Like that. I did that for a while. That's yeah, how I got a lot, and of it gigs. probably worked, yeah, right? It worked a lot, of you, course. You get a lot of DMs, but yeah, it works. I think the problem is a lot of people don't want to do that part of it because yeah. it is it is effort. It is legwork, yeah. I I think you should be if you have a business, uh, and or if your social has anything to do with business stuff, you should be on there at least thirty minutes a day mm-hmm. trying to biz stuff like something. But it's targeted effort versus just of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Throwing something in like a banner up on the wall and hoping people see it. Yeah, you're targeting people that are that have said something to the world that they're related to your audience or related to your business or related to your topic or related to your genre, whatever it is. Yeah, yep. Like we were talking before we started here, I was working with somebody who does pre postnatal stuff. And it's like, those people are telling you they're there. Yep. Just go find them. They're mm-hmm. going to have a hashtag that says prenatal or postnatal or eight months pregnant or one month old or like whatever that is. Mm-hmm. There's there's probably tens of millions of those hashtags used yep. with people saying, I'm your market. Come find me. Yeah. And you just got to go in there to Instagram. Hey, while congrats. You're, yes. Simple, Here's simple a questions. Free, I don't know baby bottle or something right Boom. simple simple like that yeah. that would be an easy thing to be like oh my god this is so great yep. i like to do a question so like hey uh you know like <clears throat> maybe they have a bottle and it's like that bottle is so cute where did you get it or that bottle looks so functional uh, where yeah. you know like so then it's it's a reason to Reply. comment back and now we've got a rapport yep. and now we're blah 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 blah, blah. and yeah. so now we're you're not super spammy yeah, yeah. i don't I like yeah i don't like to, to straight sell yeah i like that because i don't like to be sold Nobody likes to be sold. Right? Yeah. Unless it's really creative and funny. 
Sometimes, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I sent somebody a video when people add me on Instagram. I, I haven't done it in a while. I used to do it. Everybody who added me on Instagram, I'd make a video and just be like, hey, I appreciate you adding me on Instagram. If you got any questions or you want to reach out, feel free to do it anytime. Have a good rest of your day or something like so, that. So, yeah. And I'd personable. add, like, yeah. Yeah, to every single person, I would do that. Yeah. I did, so I did it again this uh, this past week, and I had one dude was like, "What are you trying to sell me?" <laughs> I was like, "Nothing." Just want to say what up. Yeah, man. sorry. Well, yeah, like, <laughs> and then I guess I know the person, but their thing was private, so I didn't know who they were. Uh, okay. I don't know if they, I wonder if they listen. Maybe they listen to this. <laughs> uh, now they know I don't know who they are. Go, to, go track them down. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, so uh, what are you doing on a day to day basis outside of? your work because your work is, is involved in your social, but that's not like what you're typically talking about on social. My work during my day job. No, outside of that. So outside like outside of that. of that is your hustle, your side hustle, yeah. like that stuff you're, you're you know, yeah, that snap you're doing your job mm -hmm. and you, you kind of chronicle your day. Yeah. Not kind of, you do chronicle your day, <laughs> but outside of that is really where you're trying to make extra income or yeah. have conversations or how are you going about doing all that? Like, what are you doing on a typical daily basis? I have a very, very, very specific um, schedule and routine that I operate by. Okay. You're one of those? Very specific. Yeah. yeah. Just because, I mean, it sounds nuts for somebody to have a very demanding job at a tech company like Snapchat and do DJing and podcast and events and family and my girlfriend and life mm -hmm. and working out every single day. Mm -hmm. So th I found that the only way for me to operate and not kill myself and get my seven to eight hours of sleep and feel excited about the work that I do is to have a schedule. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I mean, so how do you do you like physically like yeah. tonight, are you going to go and say Wednesday looks like this? I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you after the, after this talk, but it, it's literally says from the moment I wake up at six twenty seven AM to the moment that I go to sleep, it's like eleven fifteen PM. It's timed out. Huh. So I leave work at a specific time. I yeah. think it's like 4.47 p.m. PM. I just like seven. So I, I throw that number as, okay. as much as I can. Yeah. I leave work at 4.47 p.m. I'm at the gym by like 5.15. By, done, by the time I'm done. Every, every morning. Yeah. Every right. No, 5 p.m. Oh, oh, gotcha. So after work. Between the hours of like, I don't know, 8 a.m. to like 4.47, 4.45 p.m. I'm at work at Snap. Um, and then ride my scooter over to the gym. After the gym, I shower there. Ride back home, home by like 9 p.m. 9 p.m. I usually just hang out for like 30 minutes, 40 minutes until yeah. I get back into my side hustles. So then I'll work on podcast, my website, um, reaching out to people for the podcast. Um, then I'll hop back online for work for like half an hour just to make mm -hmm. sure I didn't miss anything. And then back online, do my side stuff for like <laughs> half an hour, talk to my girl for a little bit and then go to sleep. Is your girl here? Yeah, she's in Pasadena. Okay, but so, uh, that's far. Yeah. You, where are you at? Uh, I'm in like West LA, so it's not that far. Oh, yeah, but not that close either. Yeah, we don't see each other like every single day, which I guess is not the best, but it's kind of good because yeah. you get a little space. I get it. Yeah, 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 yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah. No, I get it. But it's yeah, if you're not the non LAers, like when you're in West LA to Pasadena, oh, that's, that's a push. That's probably only ten miles. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know how long it is. Something like that. Maybe maybe give or take a few. But it's like. You're not that going there. An night. hour, an hour and ten. Easy, hour easy. And 30. Yeah. Yes, yes. Depending if you wanted to go right after work, yep. you'd be that would be ridiculous. Yeah, I'm be sure you'd be listening to a lot of podcasts. Yeah, right. <laughs> what podcast do you like listening to? Uh, I I finished most of my podcasts that I was listening to. That, okay. that, the episodes that I wanted to. So You're I, an episodic podcast type deal. I listen to all of them until I okay. kind of like run out. So uh, short story long, I love it. Work, short story long by drama, um, work life, Adam Grant. Um, Joe Rogan's good here and there. I mean, everybody loves Joe Rogan. I think some mm -hmm. of the episodes are cool. Yeah. Um, those are three. I can't think of any other off the top of my head. Oh, the Reed, Reed Hoffman has one masters of scale. That one's pretty good I too. I don't know who that is. Um, but it's about like growing huge businesses, startups and all that. Okay. Um, but I'm also into like audiobooks right now. So I saw that. Yeah. An audible. Yeah. I've been like averaging like a book a week or so. That's pretty solid. So if you need book recs, let me know. Cause, You're the guy. Yeah. I have a lot of I'm, good book recs. I don't do books, but it's the same ish thing yeah. as podcast. Just like if it's one specific topic that you're really interested in, it's just like six more hours of it. Yeah. And it's like more thought out. That because, makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody I'm, has to write it up and get it reviewed multiple times. So yeah. True. True. Depend. I mean, obviously if it's quality stuff, that's yeah. how it, that's how it goes. Yeah. I, I'm a podcast guy. I love, I, I mean, I do Rogan. Mm -hmm. uh, I do some really dumb ones like your mom's house, which is like so fucking dumb and hilarious. 
It's so silly. It's it's like the most ridiculous stuff. But two, uh, do you know? Have you heard of it? Uh-uh. It's Tom Segura and Christina Pajitsky, two com- it's a married couple who are comedians, and it's just like ridiculousness. <laughs> it's so silly. That's cool though. I mean, everybody has something that they need to kind of just like let their mind go. Yeah. You know. Yeah, and when I'm doing it, I'm working out yeah. usually. Yeah. I like I prefer podcasts over music most of the time. Yeah. Sometimes I'll do music but i like to like just have sometimes it's like oh, i want to learn something i'll yeah. go to a podcast i have and try to learn something mm-hmm. or it's like i just want something stupid playing in the background it could be yeah. a laugh yeah oh, exactly dope. i like that <laughs> yeah and that one's your mom's house is so funny but again it's ridiculous that's cool yeah <laughs> um so what are you doing as, as far as like podcast wise how are you trying to grow it what are you doing within it um it's i mean it's it's called get ish done yeah so what what's the vibe the, of the it? The premise is I'm interviewing something like this, right? Essentially. Very similar to this. Interviewing entrepreneurs, people that have day jobs, uh creatives, athletes, and just people that I that inspire me to like get my shit together and do mm-hmm. do cool stuff. Okay. Um and my goal is to uncover their stories, their habits, their rituals, their routines and share the story of basically how they got to where they are uh-huh. and ask very specific questions so that the listener can kind of like have a rubric. Hmm. Um, no matter if I'm interviewing a DJ or I'm interviewing an entrepreneur, if you're a baker or you're a mom that has a side hustle, like you will learn something and, and um, hopefully implement it so that you can grow your business or achieve whatever goals you have in, in your life. And yeah, I mean, that makes sense. Yeah. That's, that is kind of like how you said it a lot better than how <laughs> ours, we feel like ours is. Yeah. Um, I don't know if there's a true rubric. Sometimes, like I said, like we talked before, you're yeah. like anything specific you want to go over. And I was like, nope, oh, <laughs> we'll start cool. and I then like let that. the vibe go. Yeah. Cause like I told you, there's been times where if we'd have had a list of questions or like a set of things, of yeah, we would have yeah. skipped it and never went on the tangent we went on, which mm-hmm. ended up being the really cool part. Yeah. You know? So that's why we don't like to have it's too be too specific. We yeah. like to have, general idea i'll spend like you who i i know of your social but mm-hmm. there's been people who i don't know anything of and i'll spend five minutes like let me look up five minutes get an idea of what they do mm-hmm. and then let's go like don't spend an hour researching and getting to know everything about you and then i feel like i'm tied to certain topics yeah. i want to know yeah whereas maybe you want to talk about something else you know i'm down to talk about anything <laughs> right <laughs> right but like yeah. i could have been like all right we want to talk about this specifically and we never would have got to some of this other stuff we've already talked about yeah that's a good point do you i know you're you're young in it it's only six podcast or six episodes have you felt or done anything already and been like oh i should not do this let me totally change the vibe of this or how i do it or it's a very specific thing but the intros need to get better for me oh, okay um i like how this intro it was very casual it was just like started recording and yeah. then the conversation got started some intros are more like and next on the podcast, we have Ish. He's a DJ. He's this, yeah. this, and that. Those are cool, too, if you can nail them. And sometimes it's awkward if you don't do it right. I'll do that before. Oh, that's so cool. So we'll have this conversation. Yeah. And then I'll go back and I'll say, this is Ish. I'll go like a 10-second resume. And then I'll talk about what we talked about. Yeah. So I try to keep that under a minute, the whole thing. Okay. I don't want to keep people dragging forever. Yeah. And then we'll do it like an R-City Coffee read. And, you know, just like I want two and a half minute intro, something like that. And then get into it. So I'm at the stage right now where I'm trying to decide if I should do that or not do it. Period? I, or just period. go into it? Go into it. And what I've been testing is the first two episodes, I didn't do the, not not really a good intro. I just started like welcoming my guest. And then I think it was three, four, and five, three and four. I did like a brief overview and it felt okay. a lot better. With them there? With them there. Okay. I just kind of like, this is my boy, Leslie. He does this, this, and this. I like... I wanted to have him on the podcast because of this and okay. that one flowed a lot better than the other ones. Okay. The thing that I'm trying to avoid is I don't want to do to re-record another intro. Like, like I do. Like I, like you okay. are. Yeah. All right. Not, not just because I'm lazy and I don't want to record it. I just want to see if I can make it flow after the intro that I have already. Okay. Um, it's just, it's like a, any other, it's kind of like a radio intro. Like if you think about a DJ that has like, uh, I don't know, like, music playing in the background as they say his name this dj name yeah i had this guy who does um actually like music editing okay for a music station i had him make me one for a podcast instead of like a dj one okay yeah basically like a dj drop for yeah. for podcasting yeah that's cool um, so I, I basically want th- to have that 
podcast drop and then go straight into the interview. Okay. But I got to nail the, in, the the beginning part first. Yeah. Otherwise, it sounds like shit, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're saying. Yeah, that makes sense. That's cool, though, if you can do it. Yeah. I, I don't like... So, initially, and this is episode 47. Nice. Or, or maybe 48. I, I did, like, a little five-minute video mm-hmm. on something that happened in the news today. I don't know if I'm going to make this an episode or just put it on our YouTube. Mm-hmm. But we'll see. So, 47 or 48 here. So, we've been doing this a little bit. <laughs> 47 and a half. Yeah, right. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. Um, but initially we wouldn't do that and we would just get into the conversation and you know, it would flow and we'd always get to like what you do and why we're talking and Mm -hmm. that kind of deal. But it was our older brother who was like, well, do like an intro. So I know going into it, it well, that that's probably part of it. But even, even more so is like, I might get to the point where we talk about all those things 10 minutes in, but the first five minutes you're like well what the hell why does why is he talking about diversity or why is he talking about a podcast well, who is this guy like yeah. what what does this guy do that's a good point where i just be like yeah ish what's up thanks for coming and we'd go into it and there would not be like there'd be no context yeah. to it. so we we're like all right i'll reconsider i might ask you for a couple of tips deal deal yeah. i got you i'm here i'm here right now <laughs> but and that was that was something we hadn't thought of and it was our older brother who was just like Hey, I need to know who these people are when you're talking to as them. As a listener on the other yeah, side. Yeah, as a listener. Because yeah. I was like, well, I know Ish. Yeah. What do you mean? Like, you don't know. And we talked about how he does all this stuff. And we mm-hmm. talked about this. So I, it was it was more of like a step back. Like, all right, chill out. Like, we need to do this. Yeah. He's a listener. If he listens and he has this question, he's definitely not the only one who has the same uh, question or thought about, like, who this person is mm-hmm. the first five minutes. And also in that first five minutes, they might say, I don't know what the hell they're talking about. Yeah. Like I'm getting out of here. Yeah. You know, next podcast I've got 800 to listen to. Yeah, that's true. So we changed that and did it that way. Since we're on the topic of podcasting, yeah. I feel like podcasting is, is really hot right now. Everybody has a podcast. We mentioned it earlier that, yeah. um, people should, if they can record a podcast. Yeah. What, like what tips can we come up with for people that are, that are thinking? Podcast are wise? Yeah. Podcast wise. Well, I think find something you, you can talk about because mm-hmm. we'll, I try to keep this 45 to an hour. Nice. Uh, I think an, anything more than that I could probably do, mm-hmm. but we all, from the camera perspective, like there's nobody behind a camera operating this right yeah. now. I just set it up and go and I hacked my camera to go 90 minutes. Mm-hmm. So we can go 90 total and same thing on my recorder, the zoom five here. Um, so that's, I don't want to go any more than that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think hours a good amount of time. I had heard, I'd talked to a friend, um, who they did some research on podcasting for their company's podcast. And it was like 24 to 35 minutes is ideal podcast listening. And that sounds great. And I don't know how long you do. Mine, mine are like 50 to 75 minutes. Yeah. I feel like you need time to get into a conversation. Yeah, mine are really like meaty podcast episodes. Yeah. It's a lot to uncover. If it's not, if it's not that, then it's, you know, if it's 24 minutes, like it's like, all right, here's ish. Here's what you do. Here's five minutes gone. Now it's like 15 minutes and now it's like, let's get, get, yeah. get the hell out As of soon here. as the listener is getting attached to you, they're kind of just like, oh, it's done. Done. Damn it. Yeah. yeah. Which maybe that's a good thing. I don't know. But I think have something you can talk about and be knowledgeable mm-hmm. about. So those are two things. Have uh, Be able to talk about it, be knowledgeable about it. Be flexible enough to like get some shit done when stuff's not perfect. Yeah. You know, we are lucky that we do video work, so we have a camera. We have this and the lighting. We have the lights. Yeah. Um, you don't need to have camera and the lights. We didn't even set up the Did lights I use at a first. GoPro for mine. Do you? Yeah, I use a yeah. GoPro. My my setup is super mobile. It's just the two mics, mic stands, uh, GoPro, selfie, not a selfie stick, like a little stand, kind of like yours, and yeah. I don't even have a light. Yeah. Yeah, and it, it looks fine. Five. Everything fits yeah. in my backpack. Mm-hmm. Fits in a duffel bag, if even then. I have like a mini suitcase I take. Yeah. So I have a smaller set of lights I can bring. Um, we just did, where was our last one? Um, down in Huntington beach. Mm -hmm. We went to uh, three podcasts ago with, uh, Lindsay and, and, um, uh, uh, who the fuck was that? Oh, Lindsay and Kayla. I don't know why Lindsay and Kayla. Mm -hmm. I was podcast with them down at at Lindsay's spot. That's what I was trying to think of the name of the spot. Um, but we went and set it up at our office. These are little $15 things. Yeah. Yeah, Just cheap. Maybe 20 bucks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, cheap little things that we just set up. So now we have like what looks like a decent setup. It's not the greatest setup, no, but it works, but it works. Yeah. You can, you can sit and do a podcast from your phone. Yeah. We host on anchor. Do you, where do you go? Uh, buzz, buzz sprout. Is it free? Free. Okay. Anchor's free too. I pay because I hit like my, my time limit one month and I needed to upload more hours cause my episodes are super long, mm-hmm. but it shares out to everything. So it shares so out to anchor. Apple iTunes or Apple podcasts, Spotify, okay. 
I don't know. It's like 12 different sites. Okay. That's how the anchor same way. I love anchor. We yeah. used to be on SoundCloud just switched like two months ago. We paid like 200 bucks for like, maybe it's a hundred bucks. So but not, you're, you used to be on SoundCloud and you yep. had to upload manually. Uh, yeah. So I'd upload it to SoundCloud and it would go to not, not to the other ones. No, I'd upload to SoundCloud and it would shoot to all the other ones. Oh, okay. So I, I you just have like the RSS feed. Yeah. And then now, now through anchor, I just do the same thing. And it shoot goes for you. Shoot some, yep. Yeah. And it's totally free. Same thing for best route. Yeah. It's simple as shit. Anchor also pays you. We'll pay you like, yeah, like 17 bucks per thousand listeners. But yeah. if you get real listeners, what they try to do is set up, set you up with ads. Yeah. So like when you have, you know, probably tens of thousands of listeners per, per episode, which we don't, they'll bring in person X, they'll bring in some coffee company. Cause we're always talking about coffee mm-hmm. or, you know, whatever. So I, I like anchor. Nice. Um, I, I think, cause I was just talking to somebody else about doing a podcast. I think you need to know what you want to talk about generally speaking and make it entertaining too. Yeah. Like there's 700,000 podcasts. So Damn, that's a lot. I know. Right. I, I, and I uh, think it's like a really emerging market right now. I it, mean, over the past couple of years, it's been on the incline, Yeah. but I feel like the past six to eight months, it's been skyrocketing. What's cheap. Yeah. You know, it's cheap content. So, and it has a potential to be really, really, really good content versus a 30 second Instagram video. You know what I mean? We're having a conversation. Yeah. So like the, we don't have 30 second interactions in real life. We have real conversation. Well, kind of, we have more, we're more apt to be in a conversation type deal. Yeah. So you're used to that. So you feel comfortable listening to that and digesting that conversation style. Mm-hmm. Like uh, a lot of athletes are starting to do that uninterrupted, starting to do a much more podcasts and, and current athletes. And it's, it's very simple to sit down here and have a conversation with you about what happened today. Yeah. Like anybody can do that, mm-hmm. right. Or almost anybody Talk about can their do experience. That. Talk about it. Yeah. Um, so that, uh, to, to be a, like flexible again was another thing, but, um, oh, oh, to have like, have a general idea. Like we talk about business generally, mm-hmm. we don't want to be super cut up. We don't want to be here in suits talking mm-hmm. that that's not our vibe. That's not who we are. So we try to be semi like silly and not take ourselves too serious yeah, too. I love that. Um, which most people, not most, but a lot of people don't, you know, they just, they just love their themselves so much and they're. And everything they do is so great. And even some of these, the biggest people I just, I just cannot stand who just like love to preach how great they are and what they've done. And, to, and ish, you have to do this. And yeah. I could name, like, I'm sure three of them are in the top 10 business podcasts. Yeah. Like I'm thinking of three people specifically right now. that just drive <laughs> me fucking nuts that I can't stand. Cause they're just preachers. Yeah. They're not, they're not, they're not, there's no, they're so like absolute in their thoughts too. There's no like wavering, mm-hmm. Uh, I'll see people like this one guy will tweet this stuff. I, I Instagram it. And his comments are always like, so sure. And I'll be like, no, that's not really. You know, yeah. Yeah. Like, by the way, like I wish I had an example in my head, but they'll be like, you always got to wear your shoes when you go outside. And it's like, well, sometimes you just want to be barefoot. Yeah. Like there's no, like you can't, there's no variance to it's this. Like, like what it's do you mean? an opinion stated as a fact. Yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, that's, that's my two cents. What do you think podcast wise? Definitely coming up with a topic that you're not going to get tired of after 40 something episodes. Yeah. Um, so the topic, which can be tough too, because yeah, because then you put yourself in like a, like yeah, a yeah, yeah. Almost. And we thought that before, like, Oh shit. Like what if we want to go here with it? Uh, I also think for us, you know, we're still at a place where we're not Joe. Well, Joe Rogan's different where he can talk about whatever basically, yeah. but, um, you can pivot. Yeah. yeah. Let's say, um, trying to think of like a really big podcast, like say one of those podcasts you just mentioned, mm-hmm. like there, those people are in a space. If they want to pivot, it's like, well, dude, I'm not into that. I was into this. Yeah. So they can't, we can, we can yeah. do, if we wanted to make this all about MMA tomorrow, then like, fuck it. We'll lose a thousand <laughs> listeners. Fine. <laughs> like whatever, you know, it's not that we've got the flexibility. I think it's an advantage to not have a huge following. Yeah. Sometimes. Sometimes. I mean, it's, with, with stuff like that, if you want to pivot, you just fucking pivot. Yeah. You know, you do it. Uh, I don't know what I was saying with that. I don't know, but I think that is an advantage to be able to pivot. Yeah. What, else, what else do you think podcast wise? I did a lot of research before even starting mine. So I listened to a shit ton of podcast episodes, probably like 80 episodes, so like a hundred hours worth of podcasts hmm. to figure out what styles did I like? Um, how structured did I like the questions that some people asked, um, the types of guests, um, the equipment. I did hours of, equi- of research on equipment just because I was like, I don't want to have to buy it all over again. Just, yeah. I'm going to cash out right now. Just yeah. might as well get some 
something good enough that's going to last me a while, but not like the mics that cost $500. You know what I mean? Yeah. Cause I'm yep, yep. not that ball in. Um, these are $20 mics. There you go. And they sound fine enough. Like yeah. we said. Yeah. You get a pop when I do pop like that. But <laughs> especially if you're listening to your car, your yeah, subs like, in the back. <laughs> but generally speaking, it sounds pretty good. Yeah. If I wanted to yell, I couldn't yell. Like, but yours, yours, you probably could have more of like a high audio, yeah. uh, out of nowhere kind of deal. Yeah. I don't know. I think overall, just having fun with it. Yeah. Yeah. But but I think there you could do a podcast on knitting. Like you can you on can anything. find whatever. And there are people that are willing to listen. Exactly. Yeah. Definitely. If you can find them, let them know that you have the content they want. Exactly. And then it goes get back there. to the conversation we had about social using social yep. the reverse or out. Yep. Yeah. Um, so the last podcast we did with Nikki, I have uh, like seven pieces of content I'll be able to post from it. And I'll do the same thing from here. I'll, I'll take a bunch of pieces and cut it up and mm-hmm. post it. So we're also creating content behind the podcast. So yep. it's not just this hour conversation. We'll put that up on and you can listen as a podcast. You can digest it on YouTube, however you want to do it. Yep. And then we're going to have all these other little pieces of content that will go on our social. I will post on our stories. Yeah. She's posted on her story. So yeah. there's, there's all this other stuff we can do with it. Just like any other company yep. could do. We can go back and now we've had 47 episodes. We can go back and cut up all those and put them together and create different pieces of content there. I can go back to that second episode we had and pull something from there. And it's probably still relevant to yeah. now. And it's probably fresh because people either forgot about it yeah. or yeah. you just didn't highlight it because you only had seven pieces of content that you shared at the time. Right. The exactly. Order. So like we're, what we're doing is creating a huge content database. Yeah. Trust me. I have a Google drive with just a shit ton of content. <laughs> that's what, yeah. Right. And, yeah. and that's great to have because now you've got it and you can use it whenever. Yeah. For us too, it's and same thing like you is it's not just 47 episodes of you talking, Mm -hmm. which can be great and you can have a lot of good stuff. But now we've got uh, 47 with probably 41 or 42 guests. We've got all those other people's knowledge and information and yourself, right? So now we've got that. And then we can also give you pieces of content that you can use to promote our stuff. So I think to find something that you can um, have like that or have guests is, is fucking huge. But I know that that that's when you start to get a cost. I think if you can do just minimal shit and be on your phone, good start. You can also be on the phone and you and I could be sitting here and it wouldn't sound great, but we could have a podcast with my iPhone. Sitting yeah. Here. I also think that people tend to overcomplicate things and maybe get intimidated because they don't know how to start a podcast or they're not good at social media or they're not good at okay. marketing. I think, if you do the bare minimums, like you just mentioned in mm-hmm. terms of like record it and have somebody else do the editing, like you can cop on Fiverr, you can hop on Upwork and find a podcast editor mm-hmm. to do all of the editing for you. So like if, cause I've, I know people listening are probably thinking it sounds great and I'll have a good one hour conversation, but then what do I do? I don't want to have to go edit. I don't want to have to go edit the video or anything yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Well, you I don't, don't have, have to do video obviously. Yeah. Well, I, so when we started, when we started our company doing video marketing stuff, I didn't do the video. We had other people we were working with Mm -hmm. and I was like, well, I had started editing vlogs just because I wanted to like do it and showcase what we're doing. We were doing some pretty cool stuff. We just moved to LA. So I started using iMovie and that Mm -hmm. was good. And then when we started the podcast, I was still editing that stuff and I would do it on iMovie, which is simple as shit and you can cut it and edit. Now I do Premiere Pro for all, you know, we're doing like real stuff now, but you don't need to do that. Um, I know on Anchor, like you can actually record from Anchor on the podcast. I can, here's the pot. Here's the oh, app you can right make now. Like snippets too. Um, I assume you can. I yeah. don't know. I'm sure you I can. could start recording here in like the next two minutes. I don't know. I don't know how to do that shit. But but I'm sure it's not hard to figure out no, if not. that's where I wanted to record yeah. it. So it's like we can always look for reasons to not do it. Like all right, I don't know how to set up a podcast. Well, here you go. You got an iPhone, right? Hit start hit play or hit record and it'll go all right now you've got a podcast Mm -hmm. you're a podcaster all right next step like you you want to start creating uh something a little better fine let's set up your phone and then you can edit a couple clips like you can by the way you can use iMovie on your phone like that's a thing you can do Mm -hmm. is it ideal is it the best no but to get things rolling why not try that and do it yeah so I think that like the, the, the biggest thing is people are always looking for a reason to not do something instead mm-hmm. of trying to find the reasons to do it. Yeah. Like, you know, you're going to be able to speak to your community. You can find people that are like-minded and you can actually grow a damn business. When you have a small following like I do of like 2,400 or whatever. I have. Yeah. 
you know? And you get to share your perspective a lot more in depth than you would on 180 character tweet yep. or a Facebook post yep. or a LinkedIn post or Instagram video, you know? Yep. Different yep. type of perspective. And it's, um, so I, you know, what I really want to do is really start doing more with athletes because mm -hmm. I think it's so undervalued, um, like long form conversation stuff. So yeah. whether it be like conversation, like a podcast, like every athlete should have or videos that are more than a minute on like YouTube or Instagram TV. I was trying to work with a guy recently, big time NBA guy, um, uh, has had some PR issues in the past. And I said, let's, let's create some long form video. Let's mm -hmm. create some stuff that like showcases you as a human, not just you as an athlete. Like, let's try to make you look better. I didn't say this stuff to him, but I'm, I forget how I worded it. Um, let you, let you control your own message. That's what I said. Like control your message and trying to get it to, to get in his head. Like, Hey, I, I know you've some, done some shit that you don't want people to think you've done mm -hmm. or Hey, I'm not that same guy. I was kind of deal. And some of it's been like not great personal stuff. Some of it's been not great, um, um, sports stuff. So it's like, like, like effort stuff. Yeah. So like, let's, let's show them that that's not the case anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, I haven't got back to him or he hasn't got back to me, but I had the first couple back and forth with him on there and he's got like 2 million followers. Damn. So I, and this was just a DM and I just, you know, went back and forth, but like to be able to control the message, I think is so important yeah. for people like that. And they're not doing enough of it. And then they bitch like, the media, the media says this about me, or the media does this, or media, media controls the narrative. Well, well, the only time you talk is to the media. Yeah. So they've got all the control. Take the control back, start creating your own message. Yeah. You know, like how can you bitch about something when you're not doing something about it? And, and he has a newsroom in his pocket. Like you can just right. pull it out yep. on Instagram yep. live. Or, yep. Or. And, a, and a lot of what athletes will do is their post is just like them them in like some ridiculous nice clothes or a car or yeah. with the family and that stuff's cool. But... You're not, there's no personality there. Yeah. So all I'm going to take is the five minute of the, the post-practice clip I have and the, and the after the games mm -hmm. or, so that's all they have to work with. What do you want them to, what do you want them to say? Could like paint the picture more. Yes. Yeah. So why not go yourself and have these conversations? Cause people who listen to this podcast on a, on a, um, a fairly regular basis are going to know generally speaking who I am mm -hmm. and who Tim is, Yeah. you know? Cause we're talking about what we do and how we do it and showing our personality. Just like if an athlete was doing it, even if they're not great at having conversations, like let somebody else kind of like Mike Tyson, yeah. his, his podcast that he's had, um, bite the mic was one. And then I don't know what it's called now, but no idea. he's obviously not a great conversationalist. Like he, he's great to be, to interview. Mm -hmm. He's not great to, to keep things flowing. So he just has another person with him. So it's the person, Mike Tyson and ish, <laughs> but you know, but the name is Mike Tyson. Yeah. He just gets the other people on yeah. and, and it's called hot boxing. Okay. Cause he's got a new weed, uh, weed farm. And so it's all about like, I'm sure they're just smoking blunts and shit. Yeah. Um, but, but like they found a way to figure that out. So Mike Tyson's not great at, at starting a conversation or having it one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Let's get another person here. To, it shows to more personality too. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I'd like to start doing more, more stuff like that with athletes and bigger names like that, nice. but yeah. also showcase to people like myself who have small followings. Yeah. This shit's possible. Yeah. Like you can do this. Let me know how that workshop goes. That sounds really cool. I will. I will. December 30th, Cleveland, Ohio. I, I already talked about it because it's on the intro of this podcast. <laughs> we'll be on the intro of this podcast where we so talk now, about it. So now it's going to happen. Yeah. yeah. We, we've already, um, we have two people in, two people? I don't know if they've officially signed up and, and paid for it, but two people in um, and we'll do, it'll all be like sit down, good ass shit not fluff bullshit hype train yeah. this is so much fun yeah. no, it'll be like all right come to work no, one thing we found in the past is it is uh our style doesn't work for everybody mm -hmm. it's if, very hands-on right it, it is hands-on but it's also like i come to you and i say hey i think you should do this and you're like well i don't know if that's gonna work and i don't know if i have enough time to do that on my instagram well then it's like it's not gonna work then so yeah. what do you want us to do yeah uh, try it or don't try it, <laughs> but it's not going to work if you don't try. Yeah. I guarantee you that. Yeah. So I think our, and our style is much more blunt to where like, let's like, you're going to do that or like, you're it's not going to work. Yeah. yeah. Like let's, let's try it. In, and by the way, if you don't like it, fine. Like if, if it doesn't work, um, that, which happens too, we're not perfect, but if it doesn't work, then okay, that's not us. Let's move. Let's what, what's next. Yeah. What, what could be the next thing that works? Yeah. So, yeah. That's dope. Workshop coming hot. Nice. Hopefully something we can do more of too. 
Cleveland, I just thought was a good fit for, for us and people we know back home and people are always asking us. I, I did something similar for like one person last time I was back and I, we'll get like questions from people and it's like, all right, let's just sit down and like have a group. Yeah. Scale that out a little bit. Maybe yeah. keep expanding it. Yep. 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 I'd like to do more of that stuff like that. And then, then people ask us to speak at events and grow all that and, you know, create yeah. more of a business around our business. There you go. Yeah. It's been something I've wanted to do for a couple of years now, more business around our business. Yeah. Cause we've, at this point we've helped people earn millions of dollars. We've not earned millions of dollars. We've earned some decent money, mm -hmm. but we have a good solid knowledge base. We're continuing to evolve. We understand that things are always changing, but we've, we've done a pretty good job um, for other people. And now it's like time we start helping yourself help, but, but also like helping other people, helping them scale their biz, helping an athlete realize, Hey, you don't just like, we work with a lot of UFC people. You don't just have to get punched in the face to make money. <laughs> you can, you can have this conversation and make money. Yeah. Uh, I talked to a girl, Megan Anderson. I've been talking to her on Instagram and she's got like 400,000 followers. And I just, I just reached out. Um, all right, I, pull, I tagged her in something and I talked about athletes and then she reached out to me. And then I've been going back and forth. Uh, just when she like posts something, I'll reach out to her and say like, Hey, I would say it like this. Or, um, when you work with a product, say this kind of stuff, like yeah. teach me about it. Yeah. Don't just say, Hey, we've got mobile water bottles. It's like, what is it? What, what is it? Do? Why, why, do you like why it? this? Look at this foam roller. It, it also is like tons of fucking water you can get in here. I don't know how Wait, it is. Is that a foam roller? It is a foam roller. What? Mobot shout out. Let me see this. Yeah. <laughs> oh. I right. like it because it's dope. It is. It is. Right. <laughs> See now, I just sold you on a mobot. They should pay us. Oh wow, they're they're pretty cool. Um, you, I like it as a foam roller. Although I should use it way more than I have. <laughs> but I also like it. It's a it's a good durable water bottle. Yeah. I had this. This is my second one. I had one. The first one I had for like three years, and then it and I ended up. I started leaking or something yeah. on the top. But three years is a damn a damn long for time a bottle, yeah. for a water bottle. Yeah. So yeah. Nice. Yes. Now you can get a Mobot. M-O-B-O-T. Uh, only for the foam roller aspect. You, use the code Curran. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's that's uh, what we're trying to get done is Definitely. try to try to help more people um, and try to scale, and not just work with brands, but scale to work with individuals and people and yeah. small groups and not just, you know, because to work with us is not cheap. Um, and typically when we're doing video content, that's not cheap stuff, yeah. but we, there's it also a lot of, too. yeah, it does take time. And there's a lot of other stuff we can help and bring to the table. We think for other people. So nice. that's what, that's what we want to do. And that's why we started to do some of this other stuff yeah. fringely as we do our, our typical business stuff and grow our, our city coffee and stuff like that. I love it. I know. What else, dude? Let me see I appreciate what else. your time. We're going to, we got, I've got like five minutes. I'm trying to think what would be the most valuable thing to share. Tell me more about your audience so far. So like audience what, on here. Yeah. Um, like who, what, why? Yeah. Like who, who do you have a general sense of like who the listeners are, what, I, what they enjoy about the podcast most I, people who are interested in business and maybe have a business, yeah. um, like small business type stuff or are like that person that's like, doesn't really love the job that they have and they got a side gig they're kind of working on, but mm -hmm don't know really what to do or like, you know, I, I, I like, um, what do you got? Like paint sneakers, like people who do shit like that. Like, you know, like that's a thing, but like, how am I going to make money off this? I make like 25 bucks and it takes me three hours to do this. And then I got to sell it and then I got to ship it. And so people that are like maybe on the fringe of trying to do something, it's, it's not people who have billion dollar companies and it's usually not people cool. that, you know, like don't do anything. Yeah. It's usually the people that are like, they got the itch or they're just starting on it and like, all right, let's, uh, how can we get to that next level kind of stuff? Yeah. Okay. So let's, let's do a quick exercise for the people that are listening that maybe they have a, a nine to five that they're not big fans of. And then yeah. they have a side hustle that they are, I don't know, let's say they want to start their own jewelry shop. Okay. Um, cause I, I do this with we, a bunch of friends. That, we have someone who, who's come on, who started their own jewelry oh, really? out of their, out of their, I think it was her sister's living room they started the really company. Yeah, they're fucking killing it so, so what i try to do like once in a while with my friends or just people that I reach out to is like goal setting and okay. if, if you want to get to this point in eight months to 12 months how are you going to get there and what i do with them is to kind of work reverse so if you want to okay. get if your goal in 12 months is to own your own online jewelry shop what's it going to take to get there 
you're going to need to know the knowledge of the industry. You're going to need to know um, what it takes to open the online shop. You're going to have to find your, I don't know, retailers, your sellers, Mm -hmm. wholesale. You're going to have to start your channels, social social channels and Mm -hmm. market online. So if we, if you're thinking of, uh, if we're putting ourselves in the mindset of somebody who has a side hustle or passion, working reverse and laying out everything it is that you're going to need to do, putting it on a piece of paper, and then setting weekly, monthly, and maybe every six month goals to know that you're on track to get there. Because we do this in, in corporate life. If mm-hmm. you think about objectives and key results, yeah. we do them for business. So one thing that I'm trying to understand better is why don't people do them, like use the same format for real life. For Which the- makes sense. But then I'm, I'm thinking as you're saying that, mm-hmm. if I'm just starting my biz, I don't know how to do that. Yeah. What are my goals? Like I want to start, I want to sell jewelry because I, I like these watches that I make. So then you listen to podcasters like this that sure. have their own businesses and talk about it. Or you just read up and learn as much as you can on the topic so you yeah. get a better understanding of what is a, what is a business like? Do I really like it? Is it something that I can see myself doing? Sure, sure. But even from there, they're like, all right, so I want to make a million dollars mm-hmm. this year. That's fine. Let's say 100K. Let's say 100K. I want to make 100K off my jewelry business. Then it's like, all right, well, all right, what's it going to cost me up front? Okay, it's going to cost me, uh, let's say you want to just make a handful of pieces. Maybe it's going to cost you a thousand bucks. I don't know what you're making. If it's high end, if it's shitty stuff, yeah. then then you got to think of website and, and then like, all right, is it just you? Are you doing all the social? Are you, are you going to hire somebody to like 500 bucks a month that yeah. help you? So there's that aspect of it too. So I think a lot of people will get intimidated. Like you've said, it's like they get intimidated of like, oh shit, I, this is awesome. I want to start this business. And then once you start to sit down and you write it down, you're like, oh damn. Oh yeah, I do got to do that. Okay. Yeah. Website. Yeah. Yeah. Um, how am I going to ship it? I got to ship it in something. All right. What are boxes cost? Like, and then it's like, Oh shit. But it helps as a, as a tool mm-hmm. to sit down and write all that shit down. I think it also helps because we underestimate how much time we have in a day. Like even if you work a nine to five, you still have six to 10, six to 11, yep. you know, tons of hours. So even if you give yourself half an hour every single day, half an hour, five or six days a week, you can tackle your long list and slowly like yep. mark your things off. Yeah. So what I'm trying to say is by setting those weekly goals, if you say like, all right, by the end of next week, I'm going to have my website up and running. Shit, that, that's going to take me 10 hours. All right. Well, mm-hmm. if I do 45 minutes every night before I put my kid to sleep after I make dinner, then I'll probably have it done by mid next week. Yeah. Review it. And then it'll be polished off by next Sunday. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's one thing off the list. Next thing. Okay. I want to make my social channels and grow them to hundred followers. Shit, that's gonna take some time. Let me call up my boy. That's, but that's a good realistic goal. Exactly. 100 followers. I Let me call to... my boy Asian Pat and jump on a quick call with him to ask him a few questions on yep. how to grow a social following, how to create my social channels. All right, now I'm gonna watch this online course, 45 minutes on how to how to act on social. All mm-hmm. right, that's two hours. I have 10 more hours of the week to give. How am I gonna grow it now? Okay, I learned. Pat, my boy Pat told me to search hashtags and reach out to people individually. All right, I'm gonna spend. 30 minutes every night to reach out to people and offer them free services or discounted services. Next thing you know, you have five clients, you know? Mm-hmm. All right. You got your website down, social media down. Um, all right. Now you want to create content. All right. You can pull out your phone and create content off the fly, or you can again, reach out to people that you know that have cameras that know how to do video, mm-hmm. ask them for a favor, or you can hop on Upwork and Fiverr and find people to do it yep. really cheap. Yeah. You know, yep. go on Canva, create your like, graphics and we, stuff for we used, free we've done that for, before yeah yeah i use canva all the time ain't no shame like i don't know how to use photoshop yeah so it's like i barely know I, how to use photoshop i just feel like people and and i've been there before too in terms of like you, you get super intimidated because you put this long laundry list of together and it's like damn this is going to take me i think it took me 43 hours to launch and publish my first podcast oh my god because i am that I'm that type of person that I wanted to make sure the quality was that high from episode one. Okay. I wanted episode one to be as high quality as possible because I know that by the time I get to episode 100, I want to be interviewing The Rock, Dwayne The Rock Johnson. Okay. So like at 100, at before 100, I want okay. to be at that before. at that caliber. Gotcha. Interviewing those types of people so that I I so I knew if I'm interviewing like I don't know Will Smith on episode 99, and he shares it out to six billion followers. When they go to my podcast, I want to make sure that when they go to episode one and yeah. two, it's high quality. Yeah. So that's why I did the extra research and I did like my website's legit now. I have a blog now. I have a YouTube page. I have mm-hmm. a professional video editor, an audio editor. I like my 
my um, conversations that I have with my guests are thoughtful, but not too structured. It's half just free flow and getting to know them. And it's half very specific questions so that if the listener didn't care about anything up until the 41st minute, Mm -hmm. from 41 minute until 70 minutes, they're going to like learn at least one thing, you know? Sure. And I guarantee that. So I did, I went to the extreme like side of the house in terms of like doing a ton of studying, but you also had that end goal and knew exactly what you wanted to do. So I worked backwards. I was like, all right. Yeah. I think it was July. It was before my birthday. My birthday is July 30th. And I said, uh, I think it was like a month before July, my, my birthday. And I said, before my birthday, I'm going to launch this podcast. Okay. And I was like, shit, that's like <laughs> a month away. I yeah. don't have any, I don't have any equipment. I don't have no idea what I'm going to talk about, what the talk is <laughs> going to be. So then I was like, all right, I'm going to have to spend at least an hour, two hours every single night, five to six times a week, and then figure out how I'm going to get there, you mm-hmm. know? And then when you, when you break it down, half an hour segments, one hour segments of like, studying researching asking questions reaching out to people on instagram yeah. twitter next thing you know you make progress you know yep i i probably should do more of that schedule structuring <laughs> wise i just don't i don't like to be tied to things no and that and if that works for you then that works usually you know? does but sometimes yeah. i'm like fuck i need to do this i didn't spend enough time on this or sometimes with video work i have to like there's there's times where it's like i need to sit there and not do anything else for an hour but this mm-hmm. and i'll put that off Cause it's like, I need that hour, but I might think I only got like 30 minutes where I would really can get into it. But like, I know if I only do 30, then I'm just gonna have to put in another hour, another time because I'm not going to be fully in. I'm not going to get in to where I need to go and yada, yada. So I'll put that shit off. Whereas if I just blocked off an hour, I'd be like, all right, I'm not going to do it at 1230 today, but from three to four, I've got an hour. I'm just going to do it. Then I'll hold off. I'll do some other stuff till that time comes be done with it. And that's where routines come in. So if you can block that 30 minutes or 40 minutes every day from, 7 p.m. to 7:40, and know that yeah. your kid's sleeping, your dinner's taken care of, you had your time with your girl, like everything else is is managed at that time. And yeah. That time is it's kind of like going to work. If you go to work at eight o'clock every single day, that you know that when you get home, do your stuff, 7 p.m. or whatever that time is for you, mm-hmm. then that's kind of just like 20, 30 minutes here and there. They add up over time. You can take yeah. a course. Yeah. Listen to a podcast that's specifically yeah. about a topic. Yeah. Work on or, a project. Or during your drive, you listen yeah. to a podcast. Or, or, or work during out your drive, or... exactly. Like I've got my, uh, to the room to the left, you can't, if you're listening, you can't see it, but the room to the left <laughs> is my girl and my baby yeah. who's seven, not seven weeks old. Luckily didn't cry at all during the podcast. What a beast. I know. She's probably feeding right now. It's been about an hour, probably feeding and just chilling. Yeah. I thought maybe we'd get the first Cassius Curran, uh, uh, guest appearance, <laughs> but we didn't. I'm, I think I'm happy about that. Uh, Would have been funny unless it was like, I, I was like, Liv, I'm sure he's going to be fine. But like, if it's really crying a lot, like please just try to like feed him or do something. Yeah. Um, if it's a little bit, it's fine. But if he's crying for like 15 minutes, that's, that's going to get a little distracting. And she's like, yeah, no worries. I got him. <laughs> well, cool, go. dude. I appreciate you coming. Yeah, man, of course. And I look forward to getting to know you more. It's, of course. It's of crazy course. how the world of social media brings people together. It's right? the best. It's right. the best. I, I, of the 41, 42 guests, probably 30, we had some sort of relationship with. And uh, of those 30, I would imagine 28 of them are from meeting another time on social media. Yeah. Like, you know, That's so it's awesome. It's great. We did a whole project with USA Today um, a year, two, two and a half years ago now. We had um, 90 total videos we made for them and 65 people, uh, influencers, people who we did like short videos with and stories on. Mm-hmm. Every single one of them, I, I should say that one was not. The rest of them are all people I just DM'd on Instagram. Damn. Like, hey, we're, we're working on this project. You interested? Yes, yes, yes. Couple people were like, "What are you paying us?" And we're like, "We ain't paying shit." <laughs> I had somebody. This this is kind of annoys me. I thought about today while I'm on this. I had somebody who was coming on the, our podcast. This is probably 20 episodes ago. Coming on the podcast, we're gonna talk about. He was a, he's a former athlete. Um, we we're gonna talk uh, just about like what he does, and he's got some other like side hustle thing he does, and that was kind of cool. And, and his vibe seemed like a really cool dude. And he had to reschedule one time. Fine, we'll, we'll do it another time. We were going to North Hollywood too, which is if you're not if you're not from here, it's like 40 minutes away on a good day. Yeah, it's a push. You know, 11, 12 miles probably. Gonna go to his place and do it. And uh, hits me up the night before after rescheduling once. Hits me up the night before. And he's like, hey, just so you know, like I don't have a lot of time. Uh, how much? How much uh, are you guys paying for this? And I was like, what? 
<laughs> well, we don't pay for them. We're not paying people to come on the podcast. Even if, I guess if The Rock wanted to come on and yeah. like we saw the value, we'd pay him a couple bucks. Yeah. But whatever he would, would be worth an hour is not worth his yeah. money anyway. But, and, and to me, I thought it was a real missed opportunity for this dude because we were going to sit here and say like, all right, here's what we would do. Here, here's what you're doing business-wise. You're just an athlete. You, you have no idea business-wise. And he still does it. I just saw something the other day and I was like, what? this dude's not making any money doing anything. But if he just sat with us, we could have worked. We probably could have already got him a brand deal yeah. from one of the brands we worked with because he'd have been in our, our head and been like, oh, this dude's a great dude to work with. And would have got free content and would have got the visibility. Exactly. And like made a friendship. You know? Yep. And and free consulting. Yeah. So it's like, but you wanted to, I don't know what he, he probably would have been like 500 bucks. Like that's not worth 500 it's not bucks. Worth it. Anyway, people do that shit. And that was the only person that asked us money-wise for the podcast. Well, I ain't going to ask you for shit. So that's cool. Well, I appreciate you. I appreciate <laughs> you, dude. Thank you. Yeah, man. Thank Goodbye. you. Goodbye. Thank you for listening. We appreciate it. Again, use our code BS at rcitycoffee.com. You'll get 15% off any and all coffee orders. You don't have to go to the store. You don't have to drink all that sugar shit on, at that corner coffee shop. Get some real good quality coffee. You're an adult. Step your game up. Again, thank you for listening. We'll see you next time. Goodbye.